Hello, Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy my video today. I'm going to be creating a art journal page. It uses a face and some flowers. I've seen these pages um, around before and thought I would like to have a go. I'm using a sheet of watercolour paper that I have cut down to eight and three quarters by eight and a quarter, I think it is. And I've given it a coat of gesso, even though that wasn't really required. I'm going to collage these uh, strips of book paper that came out of a novel that I bought at the op shop. Um, it's gold paper and it has black text on it. The picture that you can see on my left there is um, from the Adelaide Cabaret Festival booklet and I'm going to use that as my focal point. Now that I've finished putting the um, paper onto the background, I'm going to water down some gesso and I'm going to give it a coat of gesso wash just to tone the colour down a bit. Once I've got my coat of fur watered down gesso over the whole page, I set that aside to dry. I get out, um, I stamped these images onto some um, glossy paper because I wanted to use my um, alcohol markers. I stamped them onto the paper and then used my scan and cut to cut each of the flowers out. Now I'm going to use, um, as I said, my alcohol markers to colour them. I'm just using a fairly simple um, colouring process where I'm just using two colours to colour each layer or petal and um, a light and a dark with a bit of shading between the two. As you can see there's a lot of flowers and leaves here to colour so I will only uh, do a few on camera and then I'll complete the rest of them off camera. I thought that uh, while I was doing the colouring I could have my page drying so I trimmed all the excess background paper off and I used um, Artelia Regular Gloss Gel to attach the image um, that I got from the Adelaide Festival or Adelaide Cabaret Festival from 2018's program. I just loved this image when I saw it. The fact that she got different coloured eyes was a good thing, I thought. Anyway, I trimmed that down and I used my um, gloss medium to attach that to the page. Then I can set that aside to dry while I go on and finish colouring my flowers. Now that uh, the page is dry and all the flowers have been coloured, I'm going to use the same um, gloss medium to attach the flowers to the um, page. I'm sort of just winging it where I'm placing the flowers so I'm attaching well I'm attaching them by using the gel medium under them and over the top of them because I will probably want to shade do some shading on them after they're dry. As I said previously I have seen on several occasions faces um, with flowers for hair and um, I've always admired them and when I was um, having a look through my stash I found this page and knew right that's what I'm going to do next. Um, I really liked the face, um, very unusual I thought and the fact that I didn't have to colour the face was a bonus. I'm uh, not that good on drawing or colouring faces I'm afraid. But this one uh, did the trick very nicely. I have um, in the past bought 
several stamps, face stamps, thinking that I would have a go at them, but uh, have never quite worked up the courage to do it. So finding this image was a bonus. I left my page to dry overnight and now I've come back the next day. I'm going to use my st Stabilo All Pencil and my water brush to shade around um, all of the items on the page, the face, the flowers, the leaves, everything. I simply um, draw a line with my Stabilo All Pencil and then use my water brush to smudge that to give a shaded look. Now that I've finished shading my image, I'm going to use this uh, Uniball Fine Line Black Marker. It's a Uniball Eye, I think it's called. And I'm going to do some detailing on the page, on the image. I'm going to put a rough sketchy line around the flowers and just freshen up her eyes a little bit and her eyebrows, lips. So I'm just, um, I'm not looking for a solid line, I'm just looking for a bit of sketchy detail. I also use my Stabilo White um, gel pen to add a few highlights here and there. I did find that it didn't really work all that well on some areas of the flowers. The title for this page also came from the same um, Adelaide Cabaret Festival June 2018 program and um, it says eyes open and I cut it fairly close to the words, letters, so that there wasn't a lot of white around it and then used the gel medium to attach it to the page. I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle to the page so I used some Nuvo glitter drops to the centres of some of the flowers, not all of them. Once again I used my scissors to trim the overhang from the page and then I used my hole punch to punch the holes back in where the page fits into my ring binder. I used my food ball pen to draw a scribbly border around my page just to give it a bit of definition so that it looks like it's got a, an end. I watered down some gesso and used my fan brush to create a few splatters all over the page. I used my uh, Stabilo All Pencil and my water brush once again just to go around and shade a bit around the a title that I'd put on there so that it blended into the background a little better, didn't stand out like it didn't belong. I also realised that I didn't like the white splatters on the eyes of the face so I used a baby wipe to wipe those off. That completes this page. I was very happy with the way it turned out and um, I hope you've enjoyed watching my video today. If you have, please um, leave me a comment and subscribe and share my video with your friends. That would be fantastic. And once again, thank you for joining me here today.